It was unlike any other sexual health care centre I'd ever been to. One, it's completely holistic, so they offer a whole range of services, from yoga to meditation to counselling to Pilates and all the other stuff that we as trans people know that we need. So to talk to somebody about our hormone levels, to talk about hormone levels and interactions. What I want people to know about Clinique U is that it exists and we're expanding and we want to grow and that if they have any concerns at all about their sexual health care and about their kind of wider health care, then please do call in to Clinique U. We've grown from a very small start with a very small attendance to actually a really quite a large um, group of service users that attend us regularly and, and new people as well. And, and that's been an important progression mm. of building up trust within the communities. In terms of my role, it's about HIV prevention, HIV testing and also coordinating people's HIV care after they've tested positive and ensuring people that have the best HIV care possible. Of any given Wednesday we could sometimes see between maybe 20 to 30 people. Yeah. It might be for counselling, it might be for casework support, it might be for sexual health testing or treatment. We've got a really popular acupuncture service as well and yoga classes which tend to maybe bring people into a sexual health clinic when they wouldn't necessarily want to come to a sexual health service Absolutely. otherwise. It works really nicely. And our partner services in terms of Stonewall housing advice once a month mm -hmm. and also access to referrals to Gallup, the LGBT anti-violence charity for help with hate crime and uh, other uh, areas of violence. Uh, Counselling at Clinic Q can offer a space to have a non-judgmental, affirming, trans-affirming and non-binary affirming space to speak so that you don't have to explain yourself and you can just trust in that Clinic Q will, will understand a little bit already when you're, you're, you're coming in to see us. It can almost be a space for exploring, empowering, almost like a flowering in gender identity rather than um, necessarily confusion. It can be about going through stages of growth and growing into your skin really. It's a place for me to network and connect to people, meet new people. When I came here I was unhappy with my hormones and I just thought that the whole idea of this trans clinic, which was actually an NHS clinic exclusively for trans people and trans issues, was just a bit of a dream really and my first time I went there and after I left I felt like I was walking on air. I was just so happy and felt so good and had a really solid sort of sense of well-being and that I had been listened to and heard. I needed some proper counselling from people that understood it, which I knew I couldn't get from the normal yeah. doctors. And also them having a specialist nurse there who checked me out, make sure everything was okay. And if I have a little problem, I'm um and ah it may be a problem, I just pop myself down there on a Wednesday and he gives me a full check out. Very often after you've been for two or three times, you find yourself engaging with other people. Uh, it gives you a sense of belonging. Yes. It actually is a little haven mm -hmm. for our That's community. True. And the, the other thing I would say is that the people, the, the, the range of people that go to the, go to the clinic is wider than any of the groups I've ever been to. Our clinic here, I don't know where we're going to be because be useless no check and you know when you go to regular hospitals sometimes and they, they're not really trained in this department so they're clueless but with clinic here everyone's friendly supportive sympathetic respectful it's heaven <laughs> we're coming up to our five-year anniversary uh, of continuous service of clinic here and we've grown such a lot and what we're looking for in the longer term is to have a more dedicated space where we can offer services, a wider range of services for the communities. And at the moment, we don't have funding to deliver the services. So for sustainability, for longer term, what we need is the funding to be able to do that. And the future of Clinic Q does depend on our growth and our, our expanding to other areas. <laughs>